So let's finish the discussion for this week by uh, talking a little bit in general about costs. Say that you know the total cost function for your firm was this. The total cost was equal to 10 plus 10q minus 4q to the power of 2 plus q to, uh, to the power of 3. Um, we know from principles that, that total cost is made of two types of costs, at least in the short term, total cost is made out of fixed costs, uh, which are the costs that don't change with output, and the variable costs, which are the costs that change with output. So in this particular uh, case, it's clear that the costs, the fixed costs are 10, because those are the costs that are not changing uh, with output, and the variable costs are all the other part of the equation, which are the costs that are changing with output. Okay, so this is a total cost uh, function kind of makes sense. It's probably for the short run since you have some fixed costs and some, uh, some variable costs. Now, um, the average is the important parts here. So the average fixed costs are going to be the fixed costs divided by output. And in, based on that, the fixed cost we said was 10, so that would be equal to 10 over Q. The average uh, variable costs are going to be equal to the variable costs divided by output. And that's going to be equal to uh, 10, um, which is 10q um, minus 4q squared plus q cubed, all of that over q. So you end up with 10 minus 4q plus q squared. And then the, uh, the average total costs are simply going to be the average variable cost plus the average fixed cost, so in this case it's a whole equation um, divided by Q. All right, so this would be 10 uh, over Q um, plus the, um, the average variable cost. All right, um, plus 10 minus 4Q plus Q squared. And then the last part of the last important cost is the uh, uh, is the marginal cost, which is how the costs change um, every time you increase your output by one by one unit, and, and every time you see a, a slope, it's usually a derivative. So the the marginal cost is really the derivative of the total cost equation with respect to output. So in this case, it will be equal to ten minus eight uh, q plus uh, three. Q squared. All right, so those are um, it's a really easy way to uh, those are kind of the formulas to cut to find the uh, the cost curve uh, or the cost um, function for for a firm if you know the total cost function. Now uh, in the next uh, little video, I'm going to show you how uh, how the how this curve will actually look in a graph. Although you have a little familiarity with with math, you should be able to to see this right away.